That's what she said. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Julie. Welcome to my identity crisis. I saw a picture of cake and it looked delicious and I wish that I was in Russia to go get some, but I'm not. So we're gonna just make our nails look like cake. Cake, 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 cake. Okay, so um, my nails are atrocious because again, I'm a rock climber and I'm just gonna do this on fake nails. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I do have an idea. Okay, so I forgot what it looks like. These cakes are insane. Like I've never seen anything like this. We're gonna do a navy blue and maybe a red one because the red one's really pretty too. So for the red, I'm gonna use Viva OPI. But for the blue, ooh, what's this? That's not it. Oh no. Oh, oh god. So for the purple nail, I'm gonna try it with Midnight by Nail Addict. This company sent these to me to review, but I haven't really had time to play with them. They smell like candy, which makes me think, think it's a very similar formula to this brand. They smell identical. Probably the same manufacturers. Um, I actually don't like that brand too much, but um, I'm gonna give this a chance. They say on the website that it's one coat with full coverage, so, I mean, let's hold them to it. Okay, hold up. So I was just editing this video and I went on the Nail Addict website to see, to make sure that it said one coat full coverage, and it does. But if you look at the color swatches on the hands for every single one of these gel polishes, it's a white person's hand and then they change the skin tone with Photoshop. Like if you can't afford to hire any model of color, like you should not, like that you should have just drawn a cartoon hand and changed it to whatever color you want. But you straight up like did blackface with hands and that's embarrassing for you. Okay, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> I mean, I would still probably do two coats of this because Honestly, anything that says full coverage in one coat is full of poop because if it was opaque enough to cover in one coat, then it wouldn't cure properly because then there's way too much pigment. But it's still pretty pigmented. Okay, extra super full coverage on a second coat. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh wait. Okay, so then on this coat, I'm going to sprinkle this on so that it's like completely matte. Okay, so if you were using powders on actual clients, you it would not be sanitary to do this. My lamp's here. That's, what's going on? <laughs> That's what's going on down there. Okay, so now that we have this, <laughs> um, just gonna dust it off. Okay, so it is super matte, but unfortunately it's not. <laughs> It's not very even because I just kept pouring it on. But maybe we could just like cover up those mess ups. Dang, I really wanted this to be lighter. Maybe I should have used that other one that I was like, mm, that's gonna be too dark. Maybe I should have done that. Things are going really well. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I mean, okay, the nail looks good aside from that little mess up there, which doesn't matter because I can fix that. With the design, this is much lighter than the other one. So we're gonna work with this one. But oh my god. All right, I got clean hands and, and some hope. I would say on a scale of one to like nailing it, it's, it's pretty matte. You could see a little texture, which is what I'm going for, you know what I mean? And um, I think it'll make some good contrast with the, um, with the gel, right? So. So I guess I'm just gonna go over this, but this to me is gonna be too purple or like too... <laughs> okay, so sorry Nail Addict, you were a great base. I'm gonna go with um, number 157 from E-Nail Couture. I'm like already a mess and I just started. My, 
my god every time i always do this and then i'm like looking at the footage on my phone and i'm like oh my god i did it again i literally okay is all this footage like this i hope not this might not work oh okay we'll try you <laughs> it's so crusty Okay, maybe I'm putting a little too much on. <laughs> so I just put a little bit of top coat right on the, like, just random parts of the border. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold foil because that's what she's got. And I think, oh, okay. No, that's fine. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's so cute. It's a little heavy on the side because I put a crap ton of layers, but oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do it in red and see which one I like better. This is so pretty. I mean, it didn't come out as good as the purple one through every fault of my own, but I like the darker one better. What do you think? Which one? So on these, I ended up using like a pop-up gel on the border, so it has that smooth ledge. I gotta clean up the mess that I made. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed our journey. Also, a quick update. Nail Know How is my side project that I've been working on forever, and I finally kind of released it's kind of like in beta testing um but you can get the first course for 50 percent off while it's in beta um i'll leave links below for that it's about how to do hand painted nail art a course like you've never seen before so if you at all clicked on this video because you like nail art then you should check it out because um it's pretty good it's pretty good I always say I'll see you next week, but then I never do. So bye! <laughs>